Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spotlight over the city. I am your host, Stan Long, along with the lovely Terry T. Bomb Long. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Man, we got a great audience. We got a great show. We got a great show, man. Thank you guys for tuning in to Spotlight over the city. WLVS listeners, we appreciate you guys every week for tuning in. The whole DMV, Uptown, Southeast, Northeast, Northwest. Oh, this is Northwest. Uh, Southwest, everybody that's in the building. Landover, Palmer Park, C. Pleasant, Upper Mall, Barrow. Where we live, Largo. Everybody, everybody at the sound of my voice. Did you we say appreciate- where we? Where do we live? Yeah, I have. I had to get it together. Um, shout out to everybody in Atlanta that supports Spotlight over the city. It's a movement, man. Shout out to Charlotte, Fayetteville. Uh, who else down there rocking? Um, 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 um. Well, you know we can't leave out our girl Jeannie Jones. Virginia, on the West Coast. and of course on the West Coast, L.A. From what they say, Hollywood to Hollywood, Jeannie Jones. We love yeah. you. Thank you for all the support and all the things that you do of being a part of Spotlight yes. over the city. We love it. Jeannie going to be jealous of my shirt. Hall Mill- <laughs> One time for Neighborhood Nip, you yes. already know. Um, Hall Mills Network. We on Roku TV, you guys. Yes, if you do have are. Roku TV, tune in to Spotlight over the city. Um, you can check all our shows out on that. The whole season, the first season is loaded up, right? Yeah, well, the first season, 2018, the first season. First, season one, Spotlight over the city, 2018. If you have a Roku, this is so cool. If you have a Roku TV, or if you have that little Roku thing that you can hook up to your TV, yeah. you can go on there. Or the app, right? No, you can. You have to have the TV. Um, oh, I said the app. Yeah, you have to have a Roku TV or the thing that you plug up into your TV, the Roku thingy, whatever the thingy. it's called. Roku the thingy. thingy. The ra- Get the Ro- Roku thingy. And then and you go, the and listen, you go to the Hall Mills Network channel. Shout out Hall Mills. Hall find Mills. Spotlight over the city. You can, like, binge, you can binge watch our 2018 or shows. you can go on YouTube as well and binge watch our shows on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. We got an amazing show, you guys, so I'm going to get on right to it. We're I, gonna I get just it. definitely like to shout out everybody who... Uh, pays homage to Spotlight because we have a lot of viewers and we appreciate each and every one of you. We know that there's a lot of shows out here, but it's only one Spotlight of the city. So only we appreciate one. you for rocking. Yes, weekend recap. What you do this weekend? Man, we had a great time. Uh, shout out to uh, the Bliss family. What's, what, what oh, was that? that's right. We, we, um, we, had, we went to an exclusive. When I, say it, when I say we had a ball, it was Leela James. Uh, and who else? Am I saying it right? Layla. Layla. I think James, it's, it's Layla. Right? Layla, Layla yeah. James, up close and personal. Up close and personal. About 20 people in the audience, including us. Um, very close and personal uh, setting. Very amazing personal concert. I got a clip. If you just, if you want it. Okay, see. well, let's go Let's go to the video Show us video the Layla James one, and then we'll to- do Corsette Michelle we'll right after We'll be right back. That. Spotlight. Who are you to tell? We know I'm going to do the other one. I already want all of you. All of you. And once upon a time. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Yes, I believe I love Oh, right. Yeah, that joint. Yeah, that way. <laughs> that way. Yeah, that, that. That joint. That's the joint. Yeah, that. You don't need to think he brought that one. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Let me get that. Who are you to tell me? Yes. I can't go on without you. Snap your fingers. Yeah. Why are you telling me? Hey. Yeah. I'm never gonna survive <laughs> without you. Uh, uh. So once upon a time. Yes. Hey. Yes, I believe that lie. Sorry, no way, no how. You can't control my mind. I thought you were the end all and my be all. I would have never, never left. left you alone at night. Okay. All right, then, shit. Good. That, that young lady right there is what I call unsung. That's somebody who is a vocalist. That's somebody who. Is appreciated. So shout out to you, Lita James. The whole you. Compton movement, but the Nip, neighborhood, Nip in the building. Back to back, we went again up back close to back. And personal with another amazing vocalist, Chrisette Michelle. We now, may as well just want to hear that too. Just give him a little. Snippet. Just give him a little bit of that too. I will not be rolling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about 
used to say, if you want a six, you make some noise. <laughs> Welcome back to Spotlight. You Wife, you say you. I don't know the words, but I, if I knew the word, like you it's just and a couple me, of I. No, that's that not part. What was that? A couple of forever. From the stomach. Do it from the stomach. Welcome back no, to Spotlight. <laughs> she ain't no real singer. You see that? No, she ain't do it from the stomach. He know that I see, am. See, she know what I'm talking about. You got to you gotta do it, man. You got to okay. feel it. I'll show you a little later. When we get Kima Marie up here, I'm going to show you what I can do. You're going to try to show off on her. See, that's, that's how you are. Hey, <laughs> Spotlight very news. Very nice. So shout out to you. Um, oh, everyone over there somebody at talking while we Studio talking, 202. Hey, tell them be quiet. Let us talk. Everybody over there at Studio 202 DC, we had an amazing time. Thank you for including us. What is that noise? Everyone over. Oh, you gotta turn your all your your volume all the way down. Oh, okay. See, he was the culprit this time. Okay, well, be not quiet. me. Why are we doing the thing? Go so ahead. this weekend coming up. What we have on the schedule, we got, um, we're going tomorrow, I think it's Saturday, uh, Trey Cheney. We're going to something else? Yes, we're going to what is called the Black Continental Independent Movie Awards. With the homie Trey in Cheney. In support of our family, Trey Cheney, who's being featured for his life story, and it's called Undeniable, the Trey Cheney story. It's a documentary done by Commodore Independent Films. And he, Shout out Anthony Commodore. Commodore was on the show about the homie. a few weeks ago. He's the homie, too. So, you know, Spotlight Over the City will be there in full support on Saturday, and again, that's the Black Continental Independent Movie Awards. We still be, be Trey, yeah. How come Trey didn't come up? Trey, where is Trey? Trey, where you Trey, at, Trey? We know you in town. I know you saw me calling you this morning. And you yeah. saw saying, t yeah. You see me calling you. Talking <laughs> about he on Fox. No, nah, nobody tripping all that. Yeah, you supposed well, to be on Spotlight of the City today, bro. He said he was on Fox today. He didn't have time I've for never us seen today. Nothing like this. Shout out Trey Chain. That's the home. I tell you what, on June 24th, Monday, June 24th, I want everyone of you that are, you say you're my friend and you're my family, my cousins, <laughs> my neighbors, my all co-workers and stuff. I want y'all to meet Stan and I over at OTI in Largo on yes. Monday, June 24th. Meet for, me it's Monday. called a Meet Me Monday networking thing, right? It's a huge event that Micheline Bowman puts on a lot, and she has had some amazing Meet Me Monday events, but this one is going to be the most amazing because why? Because my husband is being featured for his book. Um, he is an so author. Sweetie. He's going to be signing the books, you all. We Your need an you. author? Yes. Wow. Yes, he is. He's an author he amongst book, huh? some other things. Yes. And I want to see everyone come out, show up and show out at OTI. Let's pack it out. I want it to be where the fire marshals have to come because <laughs> I want you all to come and show your support for my boo. Well, thank you, baby. I appreciate that. And not just for me, though. Make sure you guys come out to okay, support yeah, that Meet Me Monday else movement. Too. Because when I tell you Micheline does an amazing job with Meet Me Monday, she's been doing it for years. It's a big movement. And um, it's a it's a grown and sexy event. And it's a great event. Someone said they need a shirt. <laughs> We, gonna talk we got about, you on deck, we too. We're going to talk about how y'all can get these spotlights so over the city So shout out to shirts. Micheline for Meet Me Mondays. And yes, we're going to have an amazing time on the 24th. So make sure you guys come out to OTI Largo. Don't go to Upper Marlboro one. Come to the Largo Largo, one. that's the Largo. we're going to have a great time. We're going to have All a right. great time. Spotlight News, sponsored by none other than Umbrella, Umbrella Therapeutic Umbrella, Services. Umbrella, Umbrella. Shout out yes. to my man Wes over there. Umbrella Services, uh, Therapeutic Services, doing an amazing job. Yes. Hey, Big Wes Jones. Umbrella Therapeutic Services is... DC's most reliable and trusted behavioral health organization. And if you need some behavioral health assistance, they take Medicaid, they take Medicare, they take all types of insurances. It's for DC residents. It's ages five and up. Um, mental health is really? something. Yes. For ages five and up and mental health is, I want to try to get rid of the mental health stigma. Mental health is good for you. Great. Good for, for you, you staying long. Mental it's a health. tune up. You can yes. get a tune up. So, so you take your car, you get adjustments to other things. We all in life have things that come on us and you sometimes need somebody to talk to or just get you a little uh, mental tune up. It yes, doesn't mean do. that you're crazy. It doesn't mean that, you know, well, some people, it does mean that, but I'm just saying for the, everybody <laughs> don't. I'm just yeah. Saying. So umbrella, you call one eight 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 seven nine three four three five seven. Tell them you want to request umbrella therapeutic services. Yes. All right. On to spotlight news. Game six is tonight. Y'all who y'all got? Who Game got? six. What y'all talking about? Who got who? 
Who you got? Golden State? Yeah. Golden State? Uh, Even without KD? Uh, okay. It's going to go game seven. Okay. I'm with you, bro. Uh, I, I, say Toronto, most... I say Toronto in seven. Okay. Well, I agree. I was With KD, say... they racked up. They was it's a wrap. Okay, but without KD, well they don't have him, yeah. right? Shout and out I, KD I feel too. like yeah. Golden State will win tonight, but when it goes back to Toronto, it's, it's a wrap. wrap. Toronto yeah, I is going to take it. Them and boys playing physical, so shout out to Toronto too. I, I like Golden State just basically because of KD. I'm a I'm more of a KD guy, not just the team. But shout out to Toronto doing an amazing job. I yeah. mean, those young boys are young, right? Very physical, and they got them flustered a little bit. And they, they said they hit The defense for it. is amazing. Yes, and so and they they definitely hit for but it. But get well soon to KD, right? You know, um, I got we, he he posted something yesterday, and it was hard wrenching. He's got um, he had major surgery for his Achilles. Is that how you say that word? Yeah, Achilles? And that's a, that's terrible. It's hard. Yeah, to, some, that can Grant be a Hill problem. had that, so it's just that like a, a little problem, scary. Yeah. That can be a problem that can be a major for him. Problem so for I'm career. keeping you in my prayers, KD. I see your mom sometimes over there picking up crabs over there in Catherine. And they so, never hey, let us go to, to the house and get none yet. Yeah, <laughs> but get well soon. Um, who has seen? So shout out Wanda. <laughs> when they see us, Stan and I just watched it. You saw it, Kima. Oh, you. Saw when it, I tell you that, let me just say this. I heard. I, I, What'd you say, Deezy? Man, hey, let me just say this. Mm. I, I, uh, what you gonna say? I really, it was tough to watch. I'm gonna say that it was tough to watch. That's a reality, though. That's a reality, and it's been a reality, though. So, I mean, people in prison right now falsely accused. People are going through things right now, separated from their families, falsely accused, and all kind of things like that. So, when I looked at it, I thought about the people who sitting in prison today. And their story not told, but they sitting behind that cell. And this young man walked up to him and said, Dang, you still here? Mm. I'm still here. I'm what? Mm. I'm well, thank God he did that though. <laughs> I was loyal my feelings when he said that though, because you've been walking past me for about fifth about ten years. Mm, mm, and you mm. knew that you did this and you knew I was in here on that behalf. And you and you asking me now, I'm still here. I'm man, still here. I I I, I it's hard well, for me how to talk I not about. Be here? That's and so up. these young these young men, it's a tragedy. It's 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 a horror movie. Yeah, right. Pretty much, it's a horror movie. So, but praise God, to those, they, they blessings are free, to those young men, and they are, they are all you know rebuilding, rebuilt their lives, having and tough just, times you know, though. Know, having tough times mentally. They need yeah. to, see that's just what I'm saying. One of the guys, and I listened to the interview. Oprah, it's on. If you guys haven't seen the interview, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oprah Winfrey did an interview with the five guys, and she said some things. Like, they was talking about therapy, right? They was talking about therapy, and one of the gentlemen was saying that basically he, he didn't think that therapy would help him at yeah. this time, at this time. Yeah, I tough, promise you, tough. young man, that therapy will help you. It will definitely help you. You need to talk to somebody. We're going to actually try to get long, a couple to of them um, on, on an upcoming show, definitely. so stay, stay tuned for that. We're working on that. Um, and just shout out to Ava DuVernay. I mean, black lady doing her thing, doing putting out some amazing major, work like major this. Work, major shout work. out to you, major girl. Work. Black girl magic. I love it. Yesterday, U.S. Marshals in Memphis, Tennessee, fatally shot a young black man, 20-year-old Brandon Weber. And here's what they're saying. They are saying that he was wanted on multiple warrants. I get that. So maybe he was. Okay. Right? But they're saying when they went to arrest him, that he allegedly rammed his car into one of the officer's cars. And then they say when he got out of the car, he had a weapon. They're allegedly, when he was exiting his vehicle, he, mm -hmm. he he had a weapon. So they shot him 16 to 20 times and killed him dead. 16, 20 times? 16 to 20 times. And well, let me him. ask you something, America, because this is America. And this is what's happening in America. Hey, Bill right? Lord. Just think what happened when we didn't have phones. Just think what happened when we didn't have the visuals to put in your face. Right? Just let mm -hmm. me ask you this. When that little white boy down there in Virginia, was it Virginia? Uh -huh. South Carolina, right? But whatever, Dylan, whatever this boy. When this boy <laughs> went into the damn church, he went to the church. Yes, he did. He killed nine people, right? They escorted him out and put a vest on him. They escorted him out and put a vest on him. Yep. They put a vest on him, right? Make sure nobody else shoot him. You ain't going to shoot him, but you're going to make sure somebody else don't shoot him. When it comes to us, we can't have a cigarette, can't sell nothing, can't do nothing. Can't, everything, hands up, don't shoot, don't work. So then what do we do? So what do we do now? This is, a, this is something that's happening repeatedly. We got to learn how to police ourselves. We have to learn how to know 
that when, when we have a community, when you're really a community, you police your community, right. right? You don't let certain things go on in your community, including the police don't supposed to come in your community and leave your son or daughter dead in the street. No, I agree That's with you, dead. Honey. I agree. I can't really express how I want to express about that. I know that, you can't say all the so stuff I'm you want to say. Keep it moving. But um, prayers out to, prayers to the family. To Brandon's family. And, I'm tired and of I, sending prayers to our black kids' families. I'm sick of that, though. I'm sick yeah. of shit. Well, guess what? I'm guess way who, sick of that. Guess on a brighter note, guess who's getting their groove back? Wendy Williams. She got you. a new I'm boo. Wendy is turning 55 next month. We both cancer. Shout out team <laughs> Shout cancer. Out Wendy. Shout out to cancer. She got a new boo already. Look, he is 27 and she's 55. I'm not mad at you, Wendy Williams. Get your life. He's, okay. Yes. Hey, and she went and took him shopping. <laughs> Let's see how this going to work she out. She went and took him on a shopping spree. She ain't learned nothing from Kevin. She's got a younger version. She just, right. She's like, if I'm going to put up with the bullshit, then at least let me get somebody that's 27 <laughs> well, and treat me nice. At least get a grown nice. man. Get a she grown got... man that got some sense. When you're 20-something, you don't, that's just, just no. It's, <laughs> so if you're just trying to have some fun, I got you. If maybe you're trying to build a new relationship, maybe that's what you, she's trying to do. She's 55. She's in her the golden years. She's been through a lot of hell. So maybe she's like, you know when what? I want boy, a boy toy. This young boy and gonna I'm flip that it. ass, and she's gonna have a whole bunch of more t- t- troubles right after this. Hey, listen, and, shout and, out right to after you. that commercial. Shout she's out gonna, to you, Wendy. Wendy. I ain't mad. You game goofy for that one, Wendy. But mm. get your life. That's <laughs> game. right, Wendy. You game goofy get for that though. I call that game goofy. You too damn old to be that stupid. But okay. Come on now. What's wrong with someone at fifty five going through a hard divorce and be if like, if I'm you old know enough what? to be your daddy, we can't date. No. So you're a damn fool. Okay. You're so, a fool. Oh. You're dating a child. Oh. They so, gonna do childish shit. So you saying <laughs> that's what children right. do? Okay. Child play. So when it's you, called child let's play. Let's just say when you like seventy five, you wouldn't date a woman that's fifty five. Yeah, but I know what I'm doing though. I know why. But I'm the woman her. is twenty. You're older. No, she's gonna be dad. like thirty five if I'm seventy five, not fifty five. Thirty five. But I know why she here. Okay. I ain't babe. confused about that. We ain't get ready to have no bond relationship. That's dead. Okay, baby. All right. Well, who's the spotlight shining star this week? You read it. Let's spotlight shining well, well, star well, well, is but, my but husband's favorite them, yeah. segment. Tell him what it's it is. It's my favorite segment. Wifey going to do this because she. But I just want to know spotlight or spotlight shining star is my favorite segment because spotlight shining star puts the spotlight on people who do amazing things in our community, whether it's big, small, famous, not known at all, whoever it is, as long as it's something important yes. for our community. So this week's this spotlight, week's shining, spotlight star. shining star is more black girl magic, y'all. Y'all know I love black that. girl. You discriminating Sh- against us? No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Shikari Richardson makes world history as the fastest woman in the world. She is a 19-year-old wow. freshman at Man, Louisiana one, State losing. One time Louisiana. for the one time. One you got to clap for it up her. for the shining she star. She is 19, and she's a freshman at Louisiana State University, and, the, and she's a Dallas native, right? She's from Dallas, and she made history this past weekend with the 100 and 200-meter dash races and scored the fastest running times ever by anyone under the age of 20. And what? she became the fifth fastest of any American woman and the ninth fastest all time ever in women's history. Like she is the bomb. Are y'all hearing I have this? A, I have a quick clip, but we got to get to this. We got to. We have a um interview and we have Kevin waiting for us. Okay. So, but I want y'all to go check her out. Google her. Yes, Shakari Richardson. You are the spotlight shining star this week. Yes, and Kudos you are shining you, like new money. And keep them feet the moving. She can outrun you are, your ass. Yes, she definitely can. Yes, and you too. But well, yes. anybody can outrun me because I'm not running <laughs> I'm fast, at all. Unless still, a dog I'm is fast, but I ain't me, got her, running. though. I ain't got so. her. So salute to you for being so amazing yes. and keep up the amazing work. So this is what we like to do, bring positivity. I know you watch a lot of shows and know they don't bring positive energy, but that's what we do at Spotlight. Yes, we do. We bring fun and positive energy. Well, our yes. first guest, we got some amazing guests in the building. All of our guests are here. We got some really great guests for you all this evening. Our first guest is all the way out in California, though, so they couldn't be here in person, but we got them. We're going to get them on the phone right after this quick commercial break. We've got comedian Kevin Tate coming up. Is this him? No. Mm. Oh, okay. Delete. We'll be right back. Spotlight. The kind, whoever that okay, was. Spotlight. spotlight over the city. You ready to rock, rock, y'all? To the beat, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Spotlight Over the City, and I'm here with the one and only, the big homie of all big homies, Mr. James Prince himself. What's going on, big homie? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, D.C.? I put the spotlight on your city. The moral voice of the, of the movie. I'm playing a old school cat that's in a wheelchair. Superstar. 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 Superstar.
I'm going to get them first. So that's how that's going to work. <laughs> yeah. You got warrants in D.C.? I got warrants all over the place. I got warrants in six countries. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. The one and only Guy Lambert is in the building. I put the spotlight on your city. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City, you guys. Hey, welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. And yes, it's just me and Stan, yes, you can see right now. But we have an amazing comedian, actor on the phone, Mr. Kevin Tate, all the way from California. Are you in California today, Kevin? Yes, yes. What yes. up, y'all? I'm out here in Los Angeles. Yes, yes. L.A., hey, give it up one time woo! in the building. We got L.A. in the building. Hey. Man, L.A. Thank you for being building. a part. Thank y'all for having me. Man, oh, we appreciate no. you being a part of Spotlight. Yes, we appreciate it so much for taking out the time. We won't hold you too long. But I wanted our viewers and listeners to know more about Kevin Tate. Like, I was looking at some of the things that you've done, man. You've really been doing some things, but that's not the most interesting thing that I found. What I found to be the most interesting, and I'm going to let you tell it. I want you to tell people how you got discovered. Like, the story that I read about you in the mall, and because you're from Detroit. So, if you want to yes. back it up a little bit and, and give, a, give everyone a, a good uh, summary of how you got into this comedy lane and uh let's take us back to when you were in detroit man you know what was crazy is i was in detroit i'm a ball player i played ball in college and stuff like that but after college i was just you know working in the plants and stuff and i remember one day i went over to a spot it was just shopping and i saw a guy he was in there he was this this is the this is the beginning beginning let me know if y'all run out of time but <laughs> real quick no and make a long story longer i i uh they went in. I saw him. He was modeling. He said, I mean, you should come model. I ain't never did no stuff like that. And what's the language I can use on here just to be sure? Oh, anything you want. We're not. We, what, we, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure. <laughs> no. Don't listen to I'm my kidding. wife. But, but no, no. They got me into that. I did a modeling thing. And what I got out of the modeling thing, I was able to be in this play. And going on that play, I saw the stage. And I was just like, wow. It's, I think I like this. And then after a while of just working and doing much of nothing. I was like, you know what, man? I, I, could, I think I could be a comedian, man. And I got up, drove my car. I drove a car out to L.A. Um, and when I drove, I had I so had two cars. I sold a car. And I ended up showing up in L.A. with 80 bucks. I had 2000 I lost all my money while I was driving. I left it at a truck stop. And I, was, I lost all my money. I'm like, oh, should I turn around? Um... But I just kept going, man. And by the time I got to L.A., I had 80 bucks. I was blessed. I found some family and had kind of like nine months to figure the town out. And as far as comedy go, man, just jumped in the ground. You know, jumping out in L.A. is tough. Wow. You know, it's, wow. Yeah, it's tough. because. Wow. But, you know, I, I was blessed, though, because a lot of people have different stories as far as, you know, getting here. But I got to L.A. for two years, y'all, and I wasn't even doing comedy. I was just figuring out how to live and then. Once I got going, I, Russell Simmons had a show that he would do on Wednesday nights, uh, All Deaf Comedy. And he got a chance to see me on the regular, and he invited me to go on his All Deaf Comedy show. And that was going to be coming out on HBO. And I was able to do that show, and uh, he believed in me, really. It was all him. I was a blessing. He believed in me, and uh, it worked out well. But I had been wow. working on it, being on the road with Red Grant. You know, Red Grant brought me to you guys. Shout out yeah, Red Grant Red. From, from the DMV. Yeah. Man, if we had time, yeah. I'd tell you a hell of a story about Red Grant. But yeah, that's a, that's a local <laughs> homie. I got a crazy funny story about him, but we don't have time, though. Shout out to Red. Yeah. Well, Red, hey, listen, I believe you. Red keep a ton of stories. Hey, he that's my crazy, guy. bro. That's Ain't a crazy dude. Red Grant is my guy. Yeah, yeah he, he dude, is crazy. Yeah, he, he is crazy funny. Hell, though. Well, you are one funny guy, too, man. You And you've done a lot of stuff. You've done HBO, all, uh, Deaf Comedy. You've done... Yes. Uh, Grow House movie, uh, The Rail yes, Show sir. on Fox. What a blessing. Yep, and definitely you have a blessing. your own show now on Dash Radio. Is that right? Absolutely. The Kevin Tate Show, that's on Dash Radio. I got my man Howie Bell uh, as a co-host. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, I, they, I was able to do that. They came through a lot of channels. So now it's moving along pretty good. I'm able to have guests and get some love back. Oh, definitely. Geez. 
I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Well, um, we we here at Spotlight Over the City, we we like to spotlight people like yourself doing amazing things. Um, when yeah. uh, when do you have do you have anything coming up where you know because we have listeners all over. So do you have anything coming up where people can support you? First of all, I want to say to all the listeners, what's poppin'? I made hey. it spotlight over the city. I'm here. Since they gave me the mic to talk, I want to say what's up to everybody, not only in D.C., but the DMV area, period. Y'all always show me love, and um, I look forward to coming over. I'm actually headed out on a cruise. I'm going to do some cruise work. I got some stuff in the Bay Area, and then I'll be in Atlanta. So um, I'm always looking forward to coming back. Actually, coming back there at the headline, some of the improvs. And stuff like that, man. Hopefully, I can get the city to come out. Yes, man. we're gonna yeah, definitely yes, keep definitely. us posted. So we're gonna definitely keep, keep you listening. In that. You already know when you coming this way, let spotlight know so we can put the spotlight on it. But when you get Absolutely. on that cruise, are you performing on a cruise or are you just going? Yeah, well, I'm performing on a cruise, so okay. it's called uh, the Festival of Sea. Got it. Um, wow. So normally I do the time join a cruise. I didn't do that year. They called me to do this particular cruise, so I'm excited about it. You know, That's um, it's a big deal. I'm looking forward to it. And I want to say, too, to spotlight over the city, man, I really appreciate y'all for being 100. You know, you meet so many people out in the streets and they put a date out, you know, way out in the front. And then something happens. Something don't go right. Oh, we didn't figure out. We forgot. And just not being all the way together. But I want to say salute to y'all for being in the pocket yeah. and putting it down spotlight it. over the city, baby. Oh, hey, thank we you appreciate so it, much. Kevin, man. Hey, we don't know nothing else but to keep it 100. That's bro. right. That's One got. quick question before we let you go, though. What's all your good. What's your favorite thing to do when you're not on that stage? What are you? What's your favorite thing to do? Whew. Um, you know what? I it's a little different these days, but I like to play ball when I'm not on stage. Yeah. And you know, I like to play basketball. And then other than that, man, I, I you know I like to be in the comedy clubs. If I'm not doing anything remote, I like to be with my son. I got a six year old, so Aww. I That's love being is. with him. Well, happy yeah, early man. Father's Day to you. Hey, hey. And all the up in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely happy Father's yes, Day, bro. Happy early and I got Father's one. Day. You know, Father's Days ain't shit though. They don't get Father's Day shit. So uh, I you know you know how they do it. Do hey, we don't even. I ain't even know what day it was. She said Father's bro, Day no, coming no, up. I was bro. like, for real. <laughs> I ain't know what day it was. All the restaurants sold out on Mama's Day. Exactly. Friday, it'd be a, we on the grill. Somebody put that on the Instagram. We got a grill on Father's Day. Hey, and hey, look, and we we on the grill for Father's Day though. That's a killer. We hey. on the grill. Smell like smoke. We can't even put on our clean shirt. And shit, Listen, but man, that's so- we do hey. heavy lifting though. It's all good. Hey, yeah. you right. You did. Hey, Kevin, that we out need to pub. get some of that water too. I seen all that water you've been promoting. We need that. Yeah, you got to get that. We gonna water put some of that system. on Spotlight over the city. Yes, I'm going to have to send a bottle out there. I got bottles and stuff. Motivate everybody, not being afraid to be yourself out loud. And I just think I combine my brand with that. And it's just one of those things where, you know, water is something, man, that folks kind of forget or don't take it seriously. So, you know, you see me drinking all that water. People are like, yo, what the hell is going on? (laughs) But it helps. It helps. And I just try to put a reminder out there. And it's been lucrative, I guess. Yeah. Wonderful, it, wonderful. But so, so you're not gonna bring us no one damn bottle, though, Kevin. He said he gonna ship us. Somebody a bottle. gonna ship us a bottle. We yeah. need a case or it's something. Because it's a certain type of bottle that he that he has, and you put oh, the water. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. So it's like, a, it's yeah. like okay, hey, thanks for saying. helping me out right there. <laughs> yeah. so, you see, I try to come for you. Bottle, you, you go on the IG and make sure y'all follow my IG too over there. Kevin Tate is I S K V I N T A T I S, and you'll see the bottle. They don't sell for fifteen dollars as well as t shirt. I'm getting it all in on the spot. That's right. I gotta say everything. That's right. That's right. Get it right. in, That's Get it right. in Kevin. So hey, we sure appreciate you, bro. you. Hey, so let them know uh, where they can find you before we get out of here. Once again, man, my Instagram is Kevin Tate. It's K E V I N T A T E I S. That's on my that's on my Instagram. It's Kevin Tate um, on Facebook. And y'all check out that uh, Kevin Tate show too. So it's a lot going on. I look forward to sitting in with y'all when I'm out that way. Yes. And uh, I appreciate y'all allowing me to be a part of it. Hey, Thank man, you we so appreciate much. You too, bro. Thanks for being a part of Spotlight family, man. Let's keep up the good work. Make, and I'm make sure, Kevin, too, you're man. following Spotlight over the city now. You better believe it. I'm posting that flyer y'all got up. I've been moving around all day. I'm going to post that anyway. When do I hear this? When do I hear this? Is this you, live? Well, it's yeah, live. It's live. going on you're live, live right, right now. now. But when I'm done, hey. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> when we're done, Damn. I'll send you the live link so you can see it yourself, too. I'll yeah. do, we'll do no. that. No doubt. It's all love, and I appreciate y'all. Okay. All right, man. Be up. Peace. Peace. Bye-bye. All right. 
All That's right. That was wonderful. Wonderful interview with Kevin Tate out there in L.A. Make um, sure you guys follow him on Instagram and all that other stuff and whatever. Baby, Facebook, you want to get into this now? Yeah, or you, you want to wait when the next I, I, guest I up? You want to bring Bo was, up here or you want to start biting yeah, into these dice? Well, we're going to bring Bo and, and do all that at the <laughs> same time. So listen to me. Let me just let me just share this with y'all. I know regular shows, you don't be eating on the show and this and that. Mm. This is not a regular show. This is a fan. We, we in the living room, basically. We're just... On it, mm. we we kind of like in our living room. So in my mind, ain't nobody looking. Hey. If you looking, you seen somebody eat before. You I got this a crab cake. It's a Dyson crab cake. This Dyson crab so cake this, right here. I'm though? just trying to tell y'all. Now I'm hungry now. Wait. Hey y'all, look. Mm. Dyson. Mm-hmm. Let me see that car. Let me see. Wait a minute. Don't reach over here. You make me, don't reach over you your make food. me feel like you're trying to take something from me. No, I'm not trying. But take your crab cake. Man. So anyway, y'all. Uh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm. This is this let me. Right here? Let me just explain me something to you. It's called the Dyson Crab Cake. I'm going to hold mm. it up. Let me see. I was going to wait. Well, no, I wasn't. I'm lying. I wasn't going to wait. Look. I was trying to wait till after my man got off, though, because I didn't want to be rude to his segment. Look at it. It's old. So I'm going to need y'all to just make sure y'all uh, get it on with these crab cakes right quick, because um, uh, this one great uh. be gone. What, can, what I got to do to get yours? Anyway, we'll talk about it after the show. <laughs> we might can work Because I was thinking, like, if I eat mine now, <laughs> will he let me have... Mm, half, half of yours mm, later. That's not going to work. But anyway, you guys, we, we'll we be right back right after this commercial with our next guest, Spotlight Over the City. Hollywood, Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, DMP. Spotlight Over the City is on to something bigger than y'all think. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight. What happened to that boy? What happened yes. to that boy? Yes. Keep tapping, so I put a tapping to that boy. Oh, yeah. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Y'all backstage with the one and only Mr. Trey Chaney. Give it up. One. And when you in the DMV, you were rocking with spotlight over the city. I put the spotlight on your city. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight over the city. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight over the city. You ready to rock, rock, y'all? To the beat, y'all. Keep the horn and run, you don't stop. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. Welcome to Spotlight over the city, and I'm here with the one and only, the big homie of all big homies, Mr. James Prince himself. What's going on, big homie? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, D.C.? I put the spotlight on your city. The moral voice of the, of the movie. I'm playing a old school cat that's in a wheelchair. We got to get them first. So that's how that's going to work. <laughs> yeah. You got warrants in D.C.? I got warrants all over the place. I got warrants in six countries. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. The one and only Guy Lambert is in the building. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Hollywood, Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, DMP. Say your spotlight over the city is on to something bigger than y'all think. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. What happened to that boy? What happened yes. to that boy? Yes. Keeps tapping, so I put a tapping to that boy. Oh, you- I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. Y'all backstage with the one and only. Mr. Trey Chaney, give it up one. And when you in the DMV, you were rocking with Spotlight over the city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. And as you can see, we have a beauty sitting right here up on set with us. We have Kima Marie in the building. Give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for those of you in the DMV, I probably don't even need to say his name because you have seen him everywhere yeah. all the time for the last several years. We've got Mr. Bo Sampson in the building. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you both for coming to Spotlight over the city, and um, I, we appreciate it a lot. And Kima Marie, y'all, let me tell y'all something. This girl right here is no more than, what, 16? Mm -hmm. I just turned 16 just a week ago. Just turned 16. Well, happy belated to you, first thank of all. You. And, and she, welcome to Spotlight. Yes, <laughs> welcome to Spotlight. And so we're going to get to her and some of the music that she's been working on in just a minute. But I want Mr. She Bo. get it from my mama. She get it from her mom. Oh, that's a song, ain't it? She get it from my <laughs> mama. It was, who sang that song? <laughs> well, who is her mama? She get it from my mama. Her Who's mom. Her mama? Who's your mama? Tell You tell her. Uh, my mom is Kima from Total. That was yeah. signed to Bad Boy. All right. <laughs> Get up with Kim in the building from Total. Kim in the building from Total is your mom. Yeah. Yes. And so I this was... talent has been passed down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Royalty in the family. <laughs> yes, you got it in your DNA. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes. When, yes. when did you first discover that you could sing? About mm. like age five-ish when I was at my aunt's house and one of her friends was there and it was like, let's record. So we recorded in her closet. <laughs> in the closet? That's yeah. how we start. You be in the closet, right? Yeah. And so it was that in that in during those times where you notice, wow, I can sing. I'm, I I do get this from my mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can and your dad sing? No. <laughs> it skipped I mean, him. It skipped your daddy. <laughs> he he could hit a little notes. But he can cook. Yeah, he could cook. That, he can cook a crab know. cake. I bet you that. <laughs> hey, don't, don't, you this dicing crab time. cake. Don't I'm trying to tell you right now. Don't stare at my food because y'all. <laughs> So, Bo, welcome aboard hey, to us, what's well, going man. On? So, tell us a little bit about what you got going on, Bo, because <sighs> we know that you ain't no... We, we need a whole show for Bo. Yeah, you know, we well. saw him at um, Center's Wanted. Remember? Yeah, I told him I was laughing because yeah. I remember he had the red blaze on. Yeah, yeah. Red yeah. Red yeah I, I leased it. <laughs> yeah, I turned it back in before midnight. So, you, you, it. You, you're a part of the music industry as well? 30 years. 30 years. 30? From, you telling yeah. your age, Bo? Well, yeah. I mean, I've I've been in the business like thirty years. Uh, started back in '88. Worked at MCA Records. Wow. MCA got all the music on the radio. For, from uh, who to who? From Mary J. Blige to Bobby Brown to Jodeci. So I yes. helped a lot of people's careers. A lot and, of uh, people. So I've been in the business a long time. Everybody calls me, man. I see you everywhere. That's why I'm writing this book. Because a lot of people think I'm Tommy for Martin. <laughs> With no job. Job. <laughs> Just I mean, hanging out, right? Yeah, so I've been in the business 30 years. I uh, started my own company, Bodacious One. So I'm promoting whatever you got. If it's hot, I'll promote it. Gotcha. Wow, I haven't heard you talk about Spotlight over the city, Bo. What's going on? Well, that's well, what the radio, hey, right? Y'all <laughs> already hot. I ain't got to help you. <laughs> hey, man, we, we blessed, but we always can get hot. hotter, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so I've been, you know, it, it's funny. It's a lot of talent that's. Uh, in this area that's lost and mm -hmm. you know it's more than talent is a business yeah, yeah and definitely. that's why you know uh, i try to do what i can to help people because people help me yeah. yeah you know so i try to help people pour into people keep god first man and, listen, and then i roll rock. with everything else and that's what we rock how important with. is it to keep that's god so, first oh yeah though, definitely you know so this young star right here 16 yeah, brand new birthday just turned 16 when what this turn career 16? gonna do what we june doing second. june 2nd oh mm -hmm. she a G let me gemini. see gemini gemini yeah. that's what's gemini up gemini gang gang good people yeah, <laughs> yeah good, people. good people good people yeah and you still in high school mm -hmm. doing good what's cool yeah. what's cool um you i go shout to north school point. out north point high school that's okay, down there right. in uh charles county yeah the boy from um what is that show called you just talking about it when they, when, see they, us, when they see us. He went to my school. He, he just did? graduated this year. Oh, wow. Um, wow. He graduated in my brother's class. Wow. wow That's what's wow, up. Wow. That mm -hmm. is what's That's up. A great, That's a big deal. Series. So, yeah. yeah. So, so I want to talk about your music a little bit. Mm -hmm. what, what are you going to do with that career? Are you going to follow yeah, are mommy's are footsteps? Do? Or do you have some other plans? What, what are we doing? Okay. So, I want to, like, make it big. Like, one day perform at the Grammys and stuff like Ooh. that. But... I think I kind of want to start getting into acting, too, because I'm really into, like, criminal shows and stuff like that. And, like, if a singing and acting, all that don't work out, I want to go into, like, the criminal justice. But I don't know if it's just, like, because of 
the acting I want to do because yeah. that's like the acting I would want to do because I want to live like a spontaneous life and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. You just said if it. We're not gonna say if the singing doesn't work when. out. We're gonna yeah. say <laughs> the singing is yeah. going to work out because I've yeah. heard. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna just say the singing is going to work out. How can it not? You're Kima's daughter, right? <laughs> and, and you're talented. Yeah. You're just not Thank Kima's. You. Yeah. You're talented. So because of your talent, always be positive about that. No mm-hmm. for facts. You have to speak it. And you have to own it. So yep. once you own it, it becomes what you are. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. so this is who you are. You are a singer by nature, like me. Like, I'm a natural singer. Like, I'm, I just born to sing. Don't do that. Who, <laughs> did I hear laughter? <laughs> you, but I Don't had my mouth full with food, but you said what now? I'm a natural singer. I do. You, I do it. It's just both probably, never it's even just, heard of you, but he been loose. doing, he been, he, he, might, he probably lip sync. Right. Nope. Well, I'm an egg Karaoke. Listen. Both yeah. did with B-listers. I'm an egg <laughs> Nah. Well, so Bo ain't dealt with me yet. I'm just saying. Like, so at the end of the day, I'm just saying I don't want to take the shine from you, sweetheart. I know you a singer too. Mm-hmm. So what I'm telling you is, make sure that you understand that no nothing can stop you except you. So mm-hmm. when you get out here in this industry, you just let them know I'm here to get it. And yes. when I when I come and show up, it's gonna be some music and it's gonna be some hits made, and you gonna have to buzz a check. That's mm-hmm. right. And so that's what it is. And so I, I see that for you in your career. You had what it takes. You want to hear you. something from her real quick, yes. baby? I do want to hear Let's something. Let's listen from to her. something. Let's what listen you, to something. What you got, we'll Neezy? What you got over there? Let's listen to some Kima Marie. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be oh, right back. Oh, that sounds like I could say Tina Marie. Kima Marie. I like that, though. I like how that feels. <laughs> she already is. got the great stage it's my name. name. Yeah. It's oh, my that's middle your name. middle name. Kima I love Marie. that. I love that. Bo, <laughs> let's listen to Kima Marie. All right. Let's, let's see check what, it out. Let's check let's it let's out. You, tell us what you think, Bo. Okie doke. Let's do it. Let's do it. What you got, Deezy? It's not playing? No. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, that means you got to sing. Uh oh. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Might have to do a little ball, too. Just give it a little. I realized that there were a few others. I noticed earlier, but I didn't know what to do. They say I'm not someone controlling life, and I'm my own poly boy. It's time to admit that I wasn't way over my head now. I like but the track. I'm never yes. gonna keep my head down. Cause love lies. That's a nice track. But so does everybody else. Tell me what I wanna hear, just to benefit yourself. Love lies. I just had to see what all this life was about. But I'm not. I'll stay by myself, dear. I'll stay by myself, dear. That's something I can ride to. Let's get back to us one more time. We got. I love it, man. Man, I give love it. Up, it up. Please, can we give it up for Kima Marie, please? Thank you. Yes. I love it. 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 Because Did I say it's not it right? just a good song. Mm-hmm. It's not just I'll a good song. I'll stay by myself this weekend. Mm-hmm. I love that. Thank you. I love, and that track is good. Yeah, I like Thanks. the track. I yeah. like it. Okay, so that's one of how many? How many? No, I mean uh, just overall. Probably like six or seven. Okay. Around okay. That. Around that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you gotten to a point yet where you're ready to actually go out there and like really sing in front of a lot of people? Yeah, you- I was supposed to do a performance for C Pleasant. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was like a festival, I guess. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. But I kind of backed out of it last minute. <laughs> yeah. So. So I'm trying to like prepare myself you, for the shows and stuff like that yeah mm-hmm. yeah get ready that's I think, right i like it i think i think that you're right there mm-hmm. like i can feel it like i can feel like you're right there and um I, i'm just so super proud like of your, you. your age and your your poised mm-hmm. and um humble i i i really i'm really loving what i'm seeing and Thank you know you. i want to see more and I want you to know that this platform for Spotlight Over the City is yours whenever you need it. So when you really, you ready and you want to come on here and perform, we're going to make it happen for you. Okay. And when you get that first platinum hit, don't you forget about don't Spotlight. You forget you about come Spotlight back Spotlight through here and rock city, with us. I'm going to be talking about, I ain't no time I'm for no I'm Spotlight. Be, that's no, you can't be, you're not allowed. <laughs> you got to come back and rock with us you're because we come. already know you're going to do that, right? So let me ask you this. Uh, I'm going to ask Bo a few questions as well. Mm-hmm. Um who besides mom inspired you as an artist? Like, 
Who? What is? What are some of the artists that you look up to in the industry? That's a good question. Yeah, it is a good question. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll probably just say like the whole bad boy like record. The label. whole crew over yeah, there. Yeah, because I really wanted to start singing after my mom got back from tour, mm -hmm. and I like toured with her a little bit on the West Coast. Once I was like over there, and I like saw like the spotlight and like <laughs> all the people oh, yeah. and the cheering and the. And then we went to um. Did Puffy's house? I don't know what people call him. He got so many names. <laughs> yeah, Diddy, Puffy. Diddy, what did that? Yeah, Sean. Okay, Puff, Diddy, yeah, all of us working, Puff, right? We, we know went who to his is. house. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. Yeah, I want to live like this one day. So yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. So you, see, that's a blessing. Your mom was able to take you and show you some things that a lot of people dream of. Even mm -hmm. at sixteen years old, you're able to do those things. Yeah. And so, with that in mind, tell me what you listen to. Um, I don't know if your parents can know what you listen to when you get in the car and you riding out. What's 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 in your earphones? What's in your iPod? What's in your? I listen to Kalani. Mm. Cutiful. Cutiful. <laughs> shout out. Shout, shout out, out Cutiful. Shout out local Cutiful. Yeah, shout yeah. out Cutiful. Yeah. Largo Rose. Shout yeah. out. Don't you thought I ain't know that? Huh? And, <laughs> I'm then, hip. and then I listen to my brother a lot because he raps too. Okay. Yeah. He got some yeah. fire. Yeah, really? I like his stuff. That's mm -hmm. what's okay, up. so you Cutiful, uh, Kalani, and your brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you know any total songs? Yeah. <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. I listen to my mom's stuff a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that it's is, one I album, that is though. So cute. I'm not allowed to, really. It's a little. It's a little, what? A little ratchet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that is, I just think that is so cute. Like, I'm sitting here just smiling like a little kid. I'm just like, you're really, like, you're just so, you're just so cute. Well, and she's you, young, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm excited for her because I see so much in, in her future. Like at 16, I can't even tell you what I had going on at 16. But it Babe, wasn't don't singing. tell people what you had <laughs> going on Let's just be clear, it wasn't no singing nothing here. No, so. but it's not singing going on with you now. You got no your punkin. mind on the right thing, though, so I like that a lot. And so, Bo, let's get back to you a little bit because okay. I don't cool, want us to cool, run out of cool. time. I want to oh, share the platform okay. a little bit. Oh, so, that um, track. Who did the track? Missy? Oh, who did that track? No. <laughs> nah, boy, T. It sound good. It sound good? Yeah, it did. Carlos and then it was clean, it, too. Clean. Mm -hmm. That's nice what track. I like. Yeah, nice track. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice track. So, what would, I'm going to ask you a tough one. What was one of the most difficult artists to work with? I mean, it's not really difficult. I think one of the craziest things you know getting in the music business when I first got into the music business I had to wear uh, you know the, the business has a lot of different type of people in it street people Satan worshippers there's mm -hmm. all kinds of things yeah. so there's a group called the Neutrons when I first got to uh, uh, MCA uh, I had to go on the road and the mother and father got arrested before they got to me <laughs> And I had to babysit some children. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh, it'll be in my book, you know. Man, I'm telling you, man. It's part I went of the game, the right? Line. Part of the game, man. I had, Bo, to you had to babysit the dog, put the dog on my credit card, what? And take what? care of the babysitting. I mean, the, the father tried to uh, threaten to blow up MCA. Man, oh, it was yeah. crazy. So, I mean, you know, I, I pretty much, um, you know, every artist is different. So, yeah. you know, uh, it's what about one of the most pleasant situations? I mean, working with Patty. I worked with Patty for seven years. Oh, Gladys wow. Knight. Um, I mean, you know, I, I worked with quite a few different Those two right there, though? Yeah. I mean, different That's styles. That's two of my records. favorites They of pick all one. Like, they yeah. got two completely different styles, and you have to listen to their music yeah, but for the rest great. of your life. They're which one? You asking me? Yeah, which one do you pick if you have to oh, listen Patty to them? Patty and who? Patty and Gladys, and you you can only pick one, and you got to listen to that for the rest of your life. Which one Gladys. you going to pick? Me it's too. tough game, tough game. I love yeah. Patty, but she can't holler in my ear all the whole life, my life. She, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm cool. I love her. I, yeah, I, I me love too. me some Patty. I think that she's one of the biggest spirits in the game. I think that she's an amazing soul, but it's just something about that. It's just uh, glad it's just going. Like, did you see her when she was the B? Oh man, what's that show called? Uh, uh, um, the Mass Singer. The Mass Singer. I already yeah, knew that that was Gladys Knight. <laughs> like, if you don't know, if you heard Gladys yeah. Knight one time, you already know that's Gladys Knight behind yeah. that beat yeah. costume. And yeah. she just that lit. Her voice is just that powerful. Right. So you you have also been blessed to work with these people. So man, like, um, a lot of people from electric slide to rump shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know every style of music electric from go go to everything. To to rum shaker. So you yeah. watch the transition of music. Yeah, so what do you see now? What do you think music? about it? Well, you know, as far as right where it's now, going. If you it's kind of it's kind of a tough situation cuz if you if you say love, you're R&B. If you say sex, you're hip hop. 
And I think they divided the music. I think the business model has changed where we used to expose music, radio, retail, clubs. Everything has changed. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> iTunes, you're not going to be able to download yeah. your music to your phone. It's leasing a record. Streaming is leasing. You don't even own it. Um, retail used to be your phone. Uh, radio tends to play the same type of music. Yeah. Um, most of the R&B stations are playing the 90s music. They're playing more recurrent records than new records. But uh, so Why do you think that is, though? You think the well, new music is not Well, because the outlets, music comes out every day. But you have to have an opportunity for people to hear it. Yeah. And uh, the social media thing is very good, especially for the young people, uh, more than the older people. You know right. what I'm saying? So uh, you just have to keep up with what's going on in order to stay in the game. So let me ask you this. What would be some advice that you would give a young person like this young lady coming in the game, right? Minus right. mom, minus dad. Right. No one's in her ear. She's alone. A lot of people come in the industry alone. No, no yeah. real camp around them. So what would you give her as advice, some of the things I, that she should do and look Well, out she's for? on the right track already. The, the product is good. She looks great. Um, yeah. Have a good positive attitude. And there's no blueprint on anybody becoming well-known. Yeah. Uh, you do what you do. Don't copycat everybody because styles and sounds tend to change. You look at the, I worked with a, a guy named Teddy Riley, got all his music on the radio. Mm -hmm. The guy music, the new Jack Swing. That music was, nobody would play the music in the beginning, but once it got hot, somebody copied it. Mm -hmm. And once everybody got it, is no good. Just like buying an outfit. Somebody yeah. got your outfit on mm -hmm. and they got it. I ain't wearing it no That's more. it. <laughs> New hairstyle, everybody got it, it's gone. So it's a copycat business. The yeah. entertainment business is built on hype. Yeah. You know, so you gotta be able to read between the hype. But my advice would, would be to continue to know that you you're gonna make it. Put goals out for what you're trying to do. Don't let the obstacles um make you fall back. Keep a positive mind. You got good role models, your parents both in the industry, and they can tell you what not to do and listen to what they're saying yeah, now. You got to listen yeah. to them. That's the first thing. Yeah. I know, I know they know they've been there. I'm crazy to you because it's mama, but she's going to tell yeah, you Yeah, but she right. know, yep. though. Because she's been there. It's a cutthroat business. Yeah. You know? It is. But like any, being anywhere money's involved, the love of money is what? The, the root, root of all evil. evil. All right, so people and so do anything. And so just keep that in mind. And so I think that you have a great <laughs> camp around you. I think that you will do amazing things. Thank I'm looking you. forward to you coming back on Spotlight and telling us how amazing you are and show us yes. some of these uh, awards that you done snatched down <laughs> and That's bring right. here. So I'm looking forward to You know what I want to wanna see? I want to see you and your mom sing together. Like, you know, we're going to right bring now, you guys. We're going to try to bring well, them back. You might bring them back. Yeah, I would love to so see So, Mama, that. come on around here and show your face on the camera one time and let them see <laughs> that you're in the building. Come see who and made see, you this fine. beautiful come on face up, right come here. Come on up around here. Come on you, through you here. You know I already told you you was looking good, girl. Step so, on up. Get, get I up can here. have your seat. Get up yeah. here. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll sit here. Yeah. Um, let, let her sit. If, that was nice of you, Bo. Thank you. Hi, Kima. Welcome to Spotlight Over the City, and we appreciate you being on there. We just wanted the people to see how lovely you were. All these years that went by. This and young lady is still looking amazing, still yep. doing amazing good things. Jeans, so let's good jeans, let's good give it a one. Jeans. Let's yes. give it a one time. Daddy. Yes. We yes. appreciate you being a part of Spotlight, and we're gonna get you back on here so you can Thank you for having have me. your say. So we're gonna do that for sure. I just wanted them to see you while you're in the building. I couldn't have you come in the building and just sit in the audience and not show your face and at all. Yeah, your we couldn't do that. Was just so like on point. I was like, I wish I could have been up here so I could have yes, elaborated I, a little more because they things have. Definitely changed. Definitely changed. So, so, so maybe we can get yes. you guys back on that platform. I'm going to definitely schedule ASAP to get you on here okay. so we can air it out. Because as you can see, we do like living room talk. Like we yeah, air yeah, it out yeah, like yeah. family. It's been really, really fun. Yeah, it's yeah. just a lot of fun. Quiet over there, like. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gave you a mic because you could have talked. I didn't know. You don't have to be quiet on spot. Like everybody can have everybody something to say. Everybody can have something to say. Yeah, that's what we do. So that's why we, we like to make people comfortable and be a part of the show. Hey, but we. In that case, we got something special for y'all. Oh. We got an exclusive for you guys today. Oh. I want y'all to hear something. An exclusive. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to take us out with that. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Jerry is full of surprises. 
Okay. Well, that's how we'll that's how we'll end the show. But before we, we do that, end it now, we're, we're we gonna end it. it. But I got a show. If you all want to win this lovely T shirt and a co- a signed copy of my Blackbird husband, Melly, the transformation Blackbird of a gangster. Blackbird share Melly, the, the show. transformation share the show. of a gangster. We're gonna pick, on Amazon. We're gonna pick a winner from those who share tonight's show. We're gonna pick one winner for Father's Day gift or whatever you want. Get this nice shirt and a signed copy of Stan's book. Yes, so and happy want- Father's Day to all the dads yes. out there. Every dad that's out there. Doing his thing, walking dogs, mowing grass, going to work, <laughs> changing diapers. Some dads are single dads. Don't get the credit. I see you dads. I know that you do that's your role. Right, they say that that's what we're supposed to do. But mommy days, you got balloons. Everything shut down, just like the comedian said. Daddy day, I didn't know it was even a daddy's day. I didn't know. I don't know what Father's Day is today. So shout out to the fathers, and I want to say that. And I got to get out of here. Yeah, so we're going to take us yeah, out we, with We're going to take us out with this exclusive. So on that note, you guys, make sure you stay locked and loaded. Spotlight of the city. Follow us on all social medias. Love hard. Live good. God first. Spotlight of the city. This is an exclusive. Check yes. us out. Like you don't care